Hey, it's Ben Hassel here, and here I wanted to share a quick tip for something that I've been meaning to do for ages, and that is how to find a quick way to create a new uh, text notes file um, in my Finder. So whenever I'm organizing my new video tutorials, I always like to make a file folder, um, and then also put a file for notes in there for things that I'm going to mention in the video tutorial, for things and tips that I'm going to share. So I've made this uh, little application um, using Automator um, called New Text File. And basically, if you hold down Command and tap the space bar, and type in um, a search in the automator it will bring up uh, the name of a file you've created so i've called this new text file and this little application will basically make a new text file in the frontmost finder window so that's really great for me because i can quickly uh, make a notes file open it up in text edit and then make my notes straight away nice and easily for the tutorial that i'm about to create so the way you do this, um, and I found this on this website, uh, Make Tech Easier, um, is to basically use the Automator um, app. So if you hold down the command and tap spacebar and type in Automator, the Automator app will come up. And here you can run uh, what are called Apple scripts, um, if you're not familiar with those. And it's this little script that I've saved in an application um, that basically will make that file. So it's super simple. And I'll leave the link below to where I found it. Um, but basically, in this tutorial, we open up the application. Um, we set up this Apple script to run. And then I've also added it uh, to my doc down here as well. So basically, on any uh, Finder window that I pop up, whether that's inside a folder or on my desktop, I can open up this app either by tapping uh, Command and the spacebar or by clicking this little app on my doc to make a new text file that I can rename by just tapping enter once I've highlighted it and then I can call it whatever I want it to be, open it up in text edit and make my new notes uh, for whatever I'm uh, planning to do. Obviously we can use the notes app in Mac OS 10, but I really like to make my notes in text files. And so for those that have never set up an Apple script before, just quickly run through this. So if we go to file and new, we can set up a new Apple script. And what we're setting up here is an application. So basically, we can run this application uh, in our applications folder, save it somewhere else on our computer. And then because it's running and running this Apple script, basically once we set this up, the whole process for creating new files will be automated. So we'll click choose here once we've selected application. And I'm gonna type in Apple script here. So basically we want to run an Apple script in our application. So we'll drag this across into Automator. And you can see I've got this little instruction, your script goes here. And on the website um, where you can kind of find all the instructions, you have this uh, code window. So when you're creating code or creating Apple scripts, often in the instructions on those sites, you'll find that uh, they've embedded that little uh, script or line of code um, in this little code window. Um, and it's just set up so that we can really easily click in there. And then if we triple click, it will select all of that. We can go to edit and copy or command and C. And now I can come back to my new application window. We'll use command and V or edit and paste to paste that over the top of the instructions of where to place the, the script. And then if I go to file and save, I'll call this create text file new and we're saving as an application save that into your applications folder or in a different spot on your hard drive if you want to and once that's saved in there we can close that up come to a finder window and basically once i'm on my desktop or the location that i want to create that new file i'm going to hold down command and tap spacebar and that will bring up the spotlight window here and i can type in uh, create text and you can see Basically, I've got my create text file new uh, file here. And if I double click on that, it's going to run that file. And I'm going to get this message pop up the first time I run it. Um, so I'm going to allow this. I created the app, so I am trust that it's safe. And so basically now I've got this untitled folder. I can hit enter. Um, I can type in a name for this could be my notes for the project. Okay, and so rather than going to text edit and having to go to file new, file save, I can do this all in one go. And this is really useful because I'm often creating a lot of new 
folders for the different tutorials I'm creating um, and this kind of will save a lot of time in those steps. I can also, um, if I come to my applications folder, so shift command and A is the shortcut to come to my applications folder and if I type in CRE um, I'll come to this little application that I just made and I can drag that down to the dock and you can see I've already got a different version of that same app um, running here as well. So with either of those, if we go to the desktop, um, we can run either one of these apps. I'll remove one in a second. It'll create that new text file and we type in new notes, open it up and type away. And basically we've got that notes file now saved wherever we want it. So just a quick tip there for maybe how to speed things up for yourselves if you're wanting to use uh, text files to kind of make notes or um, create files in a folder. So I hope that's a little useful tip for you. Um, if you have any questions about this, about Automator, about Final Cut Pro 10, then please do leave them in the comments below. Um, and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.